working on trying to get my hoop house back together after the hurricane damaged it. I have it, all the PVC pipe connected back together. I put some cement glue in between the connections and I wrapped it with zip ties and, and duct tape too. Got some white duct, duct tape on here. So let's see if it's gonna hold up a lot better. And I end up getting me a greenhouse replacement cover that I'm gonna put over this hoop house and make it a nicer greenhouse to grow in. Okay, let me get busy putting this greenhouse cover over it. We're getting it together. <laughs> it has a zip up door in the front and the back and has zip ties to connect to the poles. It's gonna be nice. My daughter's here helping me <laughs> get it together. Say hi, Rhonda. Hi. <laughs> okay. And it has some little knitted windows on the side, about six, three on each side, that I can pull up and let some air come through. Okay, we're getting it together. It's not as long as I would have liked it to be on the sides, but we're gonna hook it up. It's gonna help us out here during the winter time where I can still be able to grow in my garden bed in here. Okay. New greenhouse. Okay, I have my garden bed area over here cleaned out and got the new weed barrier fabric laid down and got my stone pavers lined up just got to get my uh, gravel and put back in between here on top of the, the weed barrier fabric it's supposed to be a heavier type weed barrier fabric one of my neighbors that's a, that does lawn care gave me. And he said it should help keep the weeds out a lot better. Okay. Now I get ready to gotta decide what I'm gonna plant over here for the fall. I still have my okra. Look at the okra getting so tall. Yes. Okay. Okay, I have my little stone walk path back together here with my little pebble rocks in between the stone pavers. Looking nice. Now I just gotta get my little garden bed together here for the fall. I'm gonna put some more collard greens and mustard greens over in this area. Looking nice, yes it is. <laughs> 